question number 5 what can be the maximum number of digits be in the repeating block of digits in the decimal expansion of 1 by 17 perform division to check your answer so first we can do the division then we can check how many digits are there decimal expansion how many digits are there we can check okay first we can do the division 1 by 17 1 divided by 17 0 0 not possible again one more 0 100 in 100 how many times 5 5 8 5 1 next digit 150 in 150 how many times 8 8 7 sir 56 13 so 4 1 140 in 140 Again, 8 only, 136, 4, 40, in 40, how many, 2 times, 7, 2s are 14, remainder 1, 3, 34, 6, 60, 60, 3 times, 21, 3 plus 2, 5, 51, 9, 90, in 90, how many times, 5, 7 5s are 35, remainder 3, 5 plus 3, 8, 85, 5, 50, in 50, 2, 3 times, 2 times, 7 2s are 14, remainder 1, 34, 6, 1, 160, in 160, 9, 168 times, ok, 9 times, 15, 7, 70, in 70, 4, 7, 7, 4 are 28, remainder 2, 7 plus 2, 6, 68, 20, 1 time, 17, 20, remain 30, in 30 also, 1 time, 17 remainder 13 okay so this become 130 130 how many times 130 7 7 sevens are 49 remainder 4 7 plus 4 11 119 119 1 1 0 uh, 110 means how many times 110 means 7 times, 6 times, 6, 6 7 are 42, remainder 4, 6 plus 4, 10, 102, 8, 80, in 80, uh, how many times, 7, 6, 4, 7, 4 are 28, remainder 2, 4 plus 2, 6, 68, 2, 120, in 120, how many times, 7 times, 7 7s are 49, remainder 4, 7 plus 4, 11, 119, 1, 0, again 1 more 0. That means this 100 is repeating, correct? We got remainder as 1, correct? So that means again it is going to repeat only. So this much of bar. So we can write 1 by 17 equal to 0 0.05882. 3, 5, 2, 9, 4, 1, 1, 7, 6, 4, 7, bar. Again it is repeating 0, 5, 8, 8, 2, 3, 5, 2, 9, 4, 1, 1, 7, 6, 4, 7. So this is a decimal expansion. So what can be the maximum number of digits? So what are the maximum number of digits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the maximum number of digits is 16. Maximum number of digits equal to 16. So here it is, it is clear that the maximum number of digits is less than the denominator 17, right? So the maximum number of digits is less than denominator 17 when we get the remainder as 1, correct? This is the answer. Question number 6. 
look at several examples of rational numbers in the form of p by q where q not equal to 0 p and q are integers with no with no common factors other than 1 having terminating decimal expansion can you given which property q must satisfy so this is the terminating decimal expansion in the form of p by q any number we can select then we can uh, check with the which property q must satisfy okay we can take one number 1 by 10 1 by 10 means what is answer point 1 this is a terminating decimal expansion correct next i am taking 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 answer is 1 divided by 2 point 0 5 2 sir, 10 correct so point 5 this is also a terminating decimal expansion next i am taking 4 by 5. You can do the division. 4 divided by 5. 0, 8, 5, sir, 40. This is also a terminating decimal expansion, right? So, one more I am taking. 7 by 20. 7 by 20. Any number you can check. That is a, de a terminating decimal expansion means any number you can take. 7 by 20. 7, uh, 70. 3 to, uh, 20 into 3, 60, 10, 1 more 0, 100, correct. So, point 3, 5. These all are terminating decimal expansions with the Q not equal to 0, P and Q are integers also, right. So, which property this Q must satisfy? In each case, we can verify what are the, the, in the first case, Q equal to 10, right. So, that one we can write as 5 into 2. In second case, Q equal to 2, that means 2 into 1 only, right? Next case, Q equal to 5. In third case, Q equal to 20. 20 means 5 into 4. 4 means 2 into 2. So, we can see that the Q is either in the form of 5 into 2 or in the form of 2 or in the form of 5. Otherwise, 5 into 2, correct. The denominator is either in the form of 2, 2 power m, or 5 power m or 2 power m into 5 power m means we can say that the expansion is terminating decimal expansion. Correct. So, which property Q must satisfy? Q is either in the form of either in the form of 2 power m or 5 power n or 2 power m into 5 power n. Correct. In some cases, q in the form of 2 power m. In some co uh, questions, q in the form of 5 power n. In some questions, q in the form of 2 power m into 5 power n. Anyway, the denominator q is in the form of the product of 2 into 5. Correct. Power is any number is okay, but the base is 2, 2 and 5. Question number 7. Write three numbers whose decimal expansions are non-terminating, non-recurring. It is not terminating, it is not recurring also. That means which kind of number? Irrational number. Any three numbers we can write. First I am writing 0 0.31311 2 any number randomly any number we can write that means this is not terminating this is not recurring also it is not repeating correct this is 3 1 this is 3 1 1 this is 3 1 0 that means it is not recurring also it is not terminating also like this any number you can write second one i am writing 4.10 100 next 1000900300 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, like that any number. Here also it is not terminating, it is not recurring also. Correct. One more number. Any number. 33 9 2 4 0 so like this randomly any number you can write so this is also a non-terminating non-recurring number so randomly any number you can write that is an irrational number also this is the answer question number 8 
find three irrational numbers between rational numbers 5 by 7 and 9 by 11. So the rational numbers given are 5 by 7 and 9 by 11. This one we can convert in the form of irrational numbers. Okay. First we can do the division. 5 by 7. 7 7 sir. 49. 1 0. 1 7. 30. 7 3 sir. 7 4 sir. 28. 2 20. 7 2 sir. 14. 6 60. 8 7 sir. 56. 4 40. 7. 7 5 sir. 35. 5 50. Again 50 means the same number. Repeating right. So 7 7 sir. 14. So this one we can write as 7 1. 4, 2, 8, 5 bar we can write. So, 5 by 7 we can write as 0 0.7142 8 5 bar. That means 0 0.714285 again. 714285, 714285 like that just repeating. So, 9 by 11. 9 by 11. ninety. 11 8s are 88, 2 20, 1 time 11, 9, 90. That means again the 90 is coming, right? So 0 0.81 bar we can write. 0 0.81 bar. So we, th these two are the rational numbers. In between, we need to write three irrational numbers. In between two rational numbers, there are infinitely many irrational numbers are there, correct? In between any number we can write. Randomly any number we can write. So, irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are just uh, first in between these two numbers, anything you can write. Okay. So, first I am taking point seven point seven one four two eight five and point eight one in between any number you can write. So, I am taking seven two three five six two zero one two nine eight. So, this one like this one number I am writing. Next step. Next day I am writing point seven seven three two eight two eight nine zero one zero zero one one four three two randomly any number of I can write. So till I where I can write point eight I can write correct because then in between only we can write irrational numbers, right? Next day I am taking point seven eight zero 8, 0, 9, 3, 2, 1, 4, like that. So, in between 0 0.714285 and 0 0.81, infinitely many irrational numbers we can write. Here, they, we need to write only 3. So, these, these 3 are the answers. Question number 9. Classify the following numbers as rational and irrational. So, what is a rational number? A number which can be expressed in the form of P by Q is called a rational number which cannot be expressed in the form of P by Q is called a irrational numbers. Correct. So, root 23. Root 23 means root 23 is not a perfect square. Right. Perfect square root. So, this is an irrational number. Irrational Number. Next, uh, root 225. 225 means square root of 15, right? 15 into 15 is 225. So, this one is root 25 means answer is 15. 15 means we can write as 15 by 1. P by Q form. We can express that P and Q are integers, correct? So, that is a rational number. Next, 0 0.3796. This is a terminating decimal expansion. Terminating decimal expansions are rational numbers. So, this one is a rational number. Next, fourth one. Uh, 7.478478, etc. That means that is recurring, right? Non-terminating recurring. So, this one we can write as 7.478 bar we can write, correct? Because 478, 478 is repeating. That is called a non-terminating recurring decimal expansion. The non-terminating uh, recurring means what is that? That is a rational number. Uh, 
rational number. Next, 1.10100100100. Zero 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 one. So this is what kind of expansion? This is the here I think three zero is there. Okay. Anyway, this is not a continuous pattern. One zero one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero 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 one continuing. That means this is not non terminating. It's not terminating. That means non terminating, non recurring also. Correct. Non terminating, non recurring numbers are irrational numbers. So this is an irrational number. irrational number okay if a number is terminating means we can say that is a rational number if it is non terminating uh, sorry it is uh, non terminating recurring means we can say that that is a rational number if it is non terminating non recurring means that is irrational number then perfect square root is not there means that is also irrational number this is the answer